I remember when I go into solitary, right? The moment I went in, I was like, my life, man. Yeah. Everything, all the wall I see, right, is full of shit stain. Eh. The Bluebird Podcast is over. Plant. This is your <laughs> daily catch up. It's Luke. Welcome to the show. Luke is only two years older than me. Oh, no way. What? Really? What? You're 26, right? Oh yeah, I'm 26. How do you know? Yeah, Cause I Google you. You want to stop me? You yeah. want to stop me? Can you want to stop me? Can you see bad word here? Huh? Can. Can you see bad word? Okay, okay, okay. You're a sensor or what? Uh, depends. See how bad you try? Cannot. Come on. Try another one, try another one. Chow chen. Okay, we are here to be professional. Okay, Luke, right. Luke would like to preface that he's a bit sick, so he will try his best to yeah, give his best performance bit, today. But I want to come here and enjoy the show. So we actually put up like a like a question box on our Instagram to ask people to ask mm. you questions, right? Mm. The very first question that we receive is this person <laughs> asks, how are you such a daddy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you're a father. <laughs> I also didn't know I'm a father. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I have two kids, but I just like decided to run away. La. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just being like my dad, ma. So for so some sick, context, sick. Mm. Uh, Luke's parents divorced when he was younger. Mm -hmm. At what age was that? When I was primary two. And back then, were you close to your father? I just know he's an alcoholic and right. he's a gambler. I think he like somewhat abused my mom. I see. Right. So right in front of my eyes, and I still remember that night very properly. And uh, at, at one point, he wanted to commit suicide together with my mom. Oh, Yeah, he actually opened the window and wanted to jump down, like asked her to jump down, and then he jumped right. down. Oh, but she was her. not on board, like, just him. La. Of course. La. <laughs> my, my mom, <laughs> of course, but I mean, why, why, why would my mom, you know, want to do that? But she was afraid because he's, you know, like like a yeah. man, you know, more strength, intimidating. So my mom was very scared and he was drunk. Oh. So uh, that almost happened like, until I shouted for my mom. I was crying. So after that, my I think like my dad so somehow woke up and then he ran out of the house. And like from then on, that was the last. That was, I remember that was the last. La. That right. was the last. La. That was the last. So you've grown up only with your mom. Yeah, then my mom is my dad also. Yeah. <laughs> she, she's my dad. That, that, that's a great compliment to your mom. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you in touch? Me and my dad? Yeah. Like, do you know who he is now? Like, from primary two to now, I only see him like maybe three, four times only. And right. recently, every time he called me, he's like either drunk. All the things he said is like, he missed me, but then he, did, he didn't make the effort. Yeah. You know? But I also want to try, but it's difficult. It's this really does difficult. a part of you, and, and you touch your heart, right? That's a part of you hope that he actually tried enough for of you course, to want course. to give up. Of course, of course. When I was young, I didn't want to forgive him at all, you know. Mm. Like he wasn't part of my life. I do not want to hold grudges, you know. You never know whether someone will just go off one day, ma. Right. So I don't, I don't want to hold any grudges, and so I tried to meet him, lah. And then as an adult, la. As an adult, la. Right. Like I think maybe last year or last two years, la. Right. So when I met him, I tried to reconcile. Uh, until he disappointed me again, la. Right. Yeah. It's still an ongoing process, I think. But you know, re recently very busy, so yeah. Okay, yeah, I see. Yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> no, 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 it's like, it's like rising. <laughs> Someone was telling us that Luki never, never went to jail or something like that. I didn't went he to jail. Went to I went to, to detention barracks. I went to detention oh, barracks. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Because you were caught in NS. I was not in camp, but I was caught taking drugs while serving army. I see. Yeah. When I first enlisted into army, right, I, I was already an addict, right. Right. I'm not proud of it. <laughs> but uh, I think around my teenage years, nah, I, how do I say it? Uh, I went into bad influence. Ah. I tried smoking first, right? So smoking actually opened the gateway to like other drugs. Yeah. And it led me to my first ever marijuana. Right, right, right. Yeah. So with that mindset that I have when I was young, right, I, I will always think like, hey, why not? You know, I try this drug already. You know, why not I try other Hard right. drugs. But you started with weed to begin with because as in, because was it I, like a peer pressure thing or was yeah, it? Like I, I, I wouldn't say it's a peer pressure. I would say it's like more of like influence. Ah. 
influence like, I see my friends smoking weed now I'm like hey why you not try because I need like, like, you okay, just okay. that they're around you so yeah, you ask they, them they're around me la. so it all keep progressing la. so after marijuana then I like I yeah, since I try drugs already why not I try something harder mm. so I tried something harder which is meth and tenamine and when I first tried that right I like fell in love with it because I felt so good can you describe it can you describe that feeling for me meth Wait, um, Mev is usually the horse, the horse one. Ah. No, Mev is usually the horse. Yeah, is what? The tranquilizer. The horse tranquilizer. No, no, no. Mev is Breaking Bad. That's oh, why. Sorry, sorry. Oh, is the crack. Yeah, yeah. So, disclaimer, you know, I, I don't condone whatever actions that yeah, I did yeah, before. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's I really know, I know, a big <laughs> part of moving forward mm. from that is embracing your past. Yeah. Yeah, because it made you like who you are today. Yeah, and I'm very yeah. grateful. I'm very grateful. So you're asking how how did it feel? Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, like you don't lie, like you also got to try it for. I try, I try. To be honest, like, my question, which I thought was too dumb, I I wasn't filter. Was like, where you buy? So easy to buy, man. <laughs> He's lying. I can see it. Yeah, I you are. Oh yeah. Then you also offer. What are you thinking, man? No, yeah. The feeling. The feeling. Okay, yeah, what is this supposed to be? Uh, I would say there is a rush to your brain. Like you feel a lot of uh, what's that word? Ah, uh? endorphins. Uh, endorphins and uh, oh, I forget the word. Okay, but you just feel very good, lah. You just feel really, really good. If it starts with S, it might be serotonin. Or is it euphoria? <laughs> Some something like that also lah. Okay, come yeah. try another word. So no one can describe, huh? Like you, you just what feel the f- is it feel really, really good? It, but you are you conscious? You are conscious. You are very awake. You will be very awake. You can don't sleep for like three, four days on. And then you have no appetite at all. Drugs versus sex, which feels better? Meth. Meth. I, drugs. <laughs> okay, so there you go. So That's your okay. <laughs> but but don't do it lah. I mean, okay. So uh, yeah. so sex like give like this. Uh, units of dopamine. Dopamine. Uh, uh, 300 units of dopamine, right? For 400, if I'm not wrong. La. Math give like 1,200 units of dopamine. Right, right. so, so you literally feel happy. La. Just feel really good. La. <laughs> Interesting. So with that, you know, with that constant, you know, abusing of getting that high level, yeah, right? Yeah. The so crash. When you, yeah, when you step off of it, uh, you just feel like your world go down. Right. So you will feel like you're not yourself, you feel depressed. How long is that? From like... From how do you consume it? <laughs> <laughs> Just you can, yeah. right? You can stop lying. Right. I'm really <laughs> uh, I guess there's a lot of way of consuming it. Uh, there are ways like oh, jab, uh, uh. you can inject, you can smoke it with like right. instruments. Uh, you can also put inside water and then it will like a vitamin ma- C. Then drink it. Yeah, drink it. Coffee. Wait, you can <laughs> drink it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did that. I used oh, to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like middle is where I draw the line. I'd be like, okay, I can hold. I feel pressure. Come on. Then they, then they start wrapping their arm. I'll be yeah. like, I'm out. The snorting the this one is oh, where so I draw the line. As in like, it just feels so, I imagine it's it painful. to be so it's uncomfortable. I think I'd rather snort it and jab it. Huh? It hurts. It hurts. It hurts because it's chemical. Ma. Where? It's where? Chemical. Here pain. Yeah, yeah, it will hurt like him. Like a burn lah. Yeah, yeah, true. But yes. a nice burn. Immediately yeah. Like it just kicks in like that. I would say the, for snorting, it doesn't kick in immediately lah. You need to wait like maybe five minutes like that. Right. How can feel. snorting be faster than licking? I don't understand. Anyway. Okay, so how old were you again? When, when, when I was, you, when you started? When started? 14, like 15. what, marijuana? No. The Mad good stuff. The good stuff, stuff, sorry, the best stuff. Yeah, stick with sex, guys. Yeah. I would say uh, <laughs> 17 or 18, if I'm wrong. 17, 18. Yeah. Then is it expensive or not? <laughs> it is expensive. Uh, a gram back then I buy was around like $80. Then one dose is how many gram? It depends on how much you abuse it. Lah. If you are like a first timer that try it, I think like... 0.2 grams is enough for you. Jumpo is either so, going. Uh, <laughs> Jumpo is either going. Can yeah. I try or how do yeah. you afford? <laughs> well, interesting to know the the, the mm. economics of it, right? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> must make sense, uh. Okay, mm. okay. So then you started there, then mm. kena right? Because you say you have to keep it there. If not, mm. go down here. Okay, at the start is definitely you are not addicted, right? But you just keep playing it. Or for you fun. think you are not addicted, lah? Yeah, but you like keep playing it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not immediate addiction, on really? Like like cigarette, you at, at first you try. Come on, lah. Who would? First taste you get like, wow, this nice, one I yeah. swear, this one power, I want to smoke all the way in my whole life. No man, mm. because you keep going. But for I, it. I keep telling myself though when I was smoking, mm. right? I keep telling myself I, I can quit anytime. I can quit anytime. But now I don't feel like quitting. <laughs> but I think you know you at that point when you start shooting with yourself mm. like that, right? You start really. Cause stop ah, this thing costs money, it mm-hmm. makes you spend mm-hmm. The high is a couple minutes. 
Mm, mm, it, like, mm, it doesn't justify anything, you know? But when you start lying to yourself, mm. like for me, I like, mm, mm. I, I anytime can talk, I want to talk. Nah. You know, it took me a long time to even admit to myself I was addicted to cigarettes. Like as a grown ass man, right? My mom got catch my cigarette. I think I like 20 plus already. I working already. Mm. She still got like, maybe I my cigarette pack dropped inside their car. Like, Damn noob one, you know? <laughs> then when she asked me about it, I still mm. lie. I said, oh no, no. Not, not yours, then who's? Uh, like, I don't know, you know? <laughs> I, I feel like they also half know. Yeah, like, you, like, you, you, you just, give them yeah. a really cock reason, like, yeah, oh, yeah, it's my yeah. friend one, I, I help him carry that kind of thing because he going home, his girlfriend don't like that kind of shit. <laughs> then, like, we all been there, we all been there. Even when I started Gravity, when I started mm-hmm. a company already, mm-hmm. my parents' office back then, our first office mm-hmm. in Tai Seng, right? Mm-hmm. My parents' office actually just like two roads down. So I was like smoking on the way back from lunch, right? Mm-hmm. Then, my, my parents driving their company van. Right? <laughs> <laughs> then she looked at me like, what? Then I still remember it. I think I had employees around me. Oh, no. <laughs> then I just like stopped. Then I dropped it. Then I just went to the van and say hi to them. You drop it on the floor. You say, hi. I think so. Yeah. They got open the window. <laughs> I don't know what short story I gave my, my, my mom, right? But I think she, like, I, th- I think that one I never lied really. I, I just told her it was like, once. In- okay, that part was a lie. Like, there was a once in a while thing, but it was not a once in a while thing. Right, right, right. Yeah, like, I had a bag in my pocket kind of vibe. My my dad was very concerned about my bad company because last time he was super. Mm-hmm. Actually, now he also very superstitious. He went to a fortune teller before I was born. And among other things, right, the fortune teller told him that he will either be a very successful gangster. <laughs> like, he? like me, like, you like the, your be- unborn baby, which is me. <laughs> Like if he do, if he be a gangster, he mm. will be a very big gangster. I don't know. Or, like maybe the fortune teller taking drugs or something. Maybe. <laughs> or, if he, or, if he, or if he do business, he will do well also. So ah, my, then my, my father was scared. Then one day I came back, I told him, hey, I want to join. Um, and some of my school don't offer this thing. It's like <laughs> I have to go another school one huh? to learn how to play the drums for the lion dance. <laughs> I okay. don't know. I, I thought it was my passion for music. You know, because back then I still cannot play the guitar yet. So that one seems very doable and like the beat like leaves ramp free in my head <laughs> like all day. Eh? You know what I mean? Like I feel like if I listen to Lion Dance, right? Like mm. I could. You were part of the YP perhaps, gangs. Uh, you were part I, of the YP gangs. I, uh. I could perhaps <laughs> do it. I never got to do it because when I told my dad that and I really just wanted to play the drums. Mm. It was not about what I want to like, hang out and have cool friends with tattoos, mm. you know? It, mm. I really just wanted to play the drums. <laughs> my dad like literally panicked shit and he sat me down and tell me no and cut me for no reason. Like I was... Asking me like, hey, can I can I do drugs? You know, I just wanted to join. To me, it was like a CCA that's outside of my school and it was free, but it really is run by gangsters, lah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, most of yeah. It. And what I didn't know and only learned in my twenties was my dad would patrol my school every day. He never told me till I was twenty two. I mean, and I wish I were there, but. <laughs> 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 you know what? Your insensitivity. Yeah, no, you say it's too much for me. Come here to rub me in my face, bro. Okay, let's carry on. <laughs> <laughs> you are only chow? Only chow. Oh, okay. Yeah, just me and my mama. Right. Mm-hmm. So so then after that, right, with with you kind of identified that you were addicted already, or you still not really aware? Uh, I would lie to myself. Uh. Mm. When I was an addict, I would lie to myself most of the time. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I would then, just say, I, I can quit one, I can quit, but eh? every week just keep buying. <laughs> Right, hey, you're right, looking right. in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> you got the same head shape, ma. Uh, uh, I won't. Then do we have the same father or what? <laughs> why, why? Why? Is the father now? <laughs> <laughs> no, so then after that, okay, so now you go army, right? <laughs> yeah, then, go army. Uh, then you get caught. No, I was caught when I booked into camp. How did they catch you? Huh? So, when I first enlist, right, the second day I already take 14 day MC already. Oh, wow. so how, uh? every time I come back, because <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I got a uh, skin skin problem. Oh, I have skin uh, condition. I have eczema. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have eczema. Wait, then how okay. you do that too? Because now it's better, ma. No more eczema. 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 No Right, right, right. Yeah, so my skin condition was really bad at the time. So after that, every time I fought, I'll get 14 day MC. So 14 day MC, book out, now I'll book back in 14 day MC. Wow. That's, that's what I was doing back then. Uh. Then one time I just booked back into camp. I wanted to go see doctor. Ma. I said, hey, Sergeant, can I go see the doctor? Not feeling well. Typical. Yeah. He's so tired already. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's tired already. <laughs> yeah. Then after he said, no, cannot. Then I'm like, why? He said, oh, got mass urine test. Oh, oh shit. Then I was like, oh, I see doctor first. Uh. He said, no, no, you finish your urine test first, then you go see doctor. Right. Then back then I was like, oh, shit. I was trying to find ways right. to escape. Right. But, but I just, yeah, I give up. I just give my urine. Right. Yeah. But I think it's a good thing. 
Mm. Also, they were, they were not like on to you lah. It was really like cast a white net. Then you really kind of like kind. Yeah. Then you yeah. never go and try to like just scoop from the toilet bowl or what? Cannot lah. La, they look at UP. Eh. <laughs> what? They look at UP. They have to look at UP. If not, you do things to it ma. Then at that point, you must be sweating your balls off already lah, right? Honestly, I was high as hell. I was just like, <laughs> I, was still high, <laughs> I don't even know what I was thinking. I was just like, ah, oh, whatever, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but after that, when I give my urine, after that, when the down come, I start to panic already lah. And then one month later, they called me back. Right. And they brought me into lockup. Is DB as scary as people say? Uh, I would just say it's mentally tough. Lah. Mentally tough. Lah. You know, like prison, you can go work, right? But right. DB don't have. Right. Yeah. So and it's DB like, have what? Send back all. And just in the cell. <laughs> send back. <laughs> like carry send back regime. Lah. Yeah. But I was unfit, lah, you know, because yeah. I think. Lah. What's a send back <laughs> regime? Basically, you carry the same bag and then walk rounds. Around your cell? No, no, not around your cell. Like, yard time like that. No, we go to the like right. the open place. So, so you wear in, sandbag, in uh. prison, you might play basketball, but this one is everybody must move the same bag around. Uh. Carry the same bag. Uh. But you are oh, building oh, something. Oh, uh. shit. No, no, not building. Just no, carry just like exercise. <laughs> 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 we think why in 1942. Uh. <laughs> 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 you just invite yourself. They're building a railway track. Come on, China. So you just walk in circle. Yeah, yeah, but I, I didn't I didn't go for the regime at all because I think I was unfit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. But all the way in the cell, I didn't boring. Uh. Is it a one-person cell? Like, how is it different uh, from like prison? It's either a one-person cell or a three-person cell. Oh. Yeah. But one. the cell is the same size? Yes. Very, very small. Three-person sleep like that. But one person, then you have the whole space. But you're alone. Uh. But you're alone. <laughs> but how, how long were you in for? I was sentenced to 11 months, two weeks. So, oh. Oh, half the no time. time I inside right I was in a mixed cell half the time I was in single cell how yeah. to gonna single cell is that, is uh, that well, it's very la. mischievous I guess <laughs> right oh it's like a yeah. what's that solitary kind of vibe is it solitary is a different thing right. solitary is like totally enclosed up and it's way smaller and then you only get to bathe once a day they'll open the door just for you to go and bathe and then right. when you shit and pee right throughout the day it's inside a gong Oh shit! In solitary. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I remember when I go into solitary, right? The moment I went in, I was like, "My life, man. Yeah. Everything, all the war I see, right, is for a shit stain." Eh. And then the military police, because like, nothing to do with it, you start playing your shit. No, 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 no. It's basically they give you kong and one bottle and one small towel, right? Okay. So you can't wash your hands. Only use your own bottle. Huh. So also people who, wiping on the... So people who went in there, right, they decided to shit and not use the bottle to wash their, you know, whatever. They, they used their hand and wiped the shit and put on the wall. So when I went in, right, the military police gave me, like, the towel to wipe clean first. So I clean, I was trying to wipe the shit off the wall. It doesn't come off. <laughs> it's imprinted <laughs> there, man. It's imprinted there. So the ventilation not great, lah. Like, like uh, no, not great at all. Raving about the ventilation in Changi. <laughs> <laughs> it was hot as hell. So then your first day in there, what was that like? My first few days, I slept a lot because, like I said, math made me very awake. So I didn't really sleep throughout my addiction lah. Yeah. Right. So when I went in, like my body collapsed off, so I just keep sleeping, sleeping, sleeping until the point where I realized, where my body start to realize, oh shit, there's no drugs. Yeah. Then I start to be more mm -hmm. awake in a sense, but. Cannot sleep properly for two months. Oh. Wow. Yeah. You got the... I won't say I would have the shiver, la, but yeah. I just feel very shit. Oh. That's basically the withdrawal. La. Yeah. What do they do for your withdrawal? La? They Nothing. know you're going through withdrawal. Nothing. La. It's cold turkey. Oh. Cold yeah. You go to jail, la, they won't pamper you. I don't know. Yeah. I need to like, check your vitals every day or what? I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they will, if you go in, they will definitely test you for, you know, if you are sick or anything. Oh. Definitely right, will right, have right. to. Uh. But you just have to cold turkey inside, no? Yeah. Make you yeah. reflect, uh, basically. Yeah. But looking back now, le, what are some, like... Because you 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 tried it, mm -hmm. you felt good, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Then nothing really bad happened as a result of it, except that you got caught consuming it. Mm -hmm. So how do, you, how do you feel about it now when you look back? You know, some people, for example, they go into mm -hmm. drugs, then they harm their family. Mm -hmm. Or the the drugs plus gamble like Simon for example. I also and got drugs and gamble and pawn my mother gold. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Okay. So I was <laughs> drugs makes you make make you like do a lot of stupid things lah. To be honest. Yeah. Like it also ruins your like you and your family ah. Yeah. All right. Mm, but I'll say I needed to whatever I've been through, I needed to go through it lah. Yeah. So actually, after your DB, what I read was that 
about a month after you yes. had a relapse. Yes. Relapse. But what made you finally quit? Because if DB, mm. that cold turkey, that whole almost mm. one year, mm, right, mm, didn't mm. help, then what changed? Okay, because I realized when I came out of DB, one month later, I relapsed. I realized that it was the bad influence I used to make Swift again. Right. Right. So I couldn't hold in that temptation. Like, at one month, I was like, wow, hold on. Hey, don't tell me all this thing. I don't, don't know. Then you start to like, you know, because you're so long inside, right? Not, to me, I feel long, la, you know. It's, it's, like, it's long, it's long. long. It's long, la. You know, yeah. some people say, I am not long, la, whatever. Okay, to me, it's long. La. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. You know, you will go enjoy, but you go and drink. Then when you drink, you know, with the alcohol in you, and then your friend, hey, come on, we go take. Yeah. Then, you know, you never think properly, you like, I have one time, won't yeah. So that one time, oh, then you start, oh, one time, second time, you just keep playing here and there. Oh. Right. Yeah. Then I was going through something also at that point of time. Then, break up. Confirm. Something like that. <laughs> 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 then after that, ah, continue taking, taking. Then after that, I see myself falling back into it. Then, until at this one point of time, ah, while taking it, ah, I was crying and taking it at the same time. I wasn't even feeling good at all. Right. Then I realized, oh, wow, there's something wrong already. Ah. Like, it's not helping me in any way. Then I see my mother, she also know already. Like, she can see, lah, you know. Then I just told myself, ah, yeah, I just stop it. Ah. I just cut all the contacts. Ah. I just delete all the supplier number. I told my friend, don't contact me for now. Just cold turkey myself. And then I told myself, if I can do it, if I'm outside, then I'm able to continue it. Yeah. And yeah, sober. Then, Was cutting yeah. off your friends difficult? Difficult lah, difficult. Because you be alone ma. I yeah. had to be alone. Those were your alone. closest group of friends lah, right? Mm, somewhat lah. Somewhat, mm. somewhat What was your conversation with your mom after you got out? Every visit that she can come, she will definitely come for my, vi my visit and she always bring books for me, which yeah. I'm very, very grateful. Mm. And the moment I released, she couldn't come like, because uh, she really needed to work. Mm. So when I came out, I was very thankful. This officer, he kept me to my mom. Mm. Oh. So I, yeah, yeah, I'm very thankful of him. So I, when I reached there, the first thing I do, I ran out of the cab. Like a little boy <laughs> running to his mother, gave my mom a good long hug. We went, we went to eat together, McSpicy, uh, you know, uh, the first thing I come out of I can't even finish it. I was too happy. I can't even finish my McSpicy. <laughs> it's the Mac stomach. Happy meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you need to sum the rest of your... <laughs> NS obligation. Like after you come out of DB, do you go back to NS? Yeah, of course. Oh, oh. Give up. Then you give me two Why? It's got two years or what? Huh? No, no, so, as in, so let's say, so you, you, mm. you went in how many months into NS? Say three to six months in? Then I can ask, is it? Uh, yeah. um, Around six months, I would say. Six months in, then does the 11 month count or not? No la. So the complete, so it's you must pause, still, pause Pause so you go back and serve your wife. Oh, wow. Hey, this one is punishment, okay? <laughs> yeah, 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 it's, yeah. Not, it's not an exchange. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, like, like at least you, you know you serve your time. You're like, okay, I'm going to go out and be free as a bird. I'm going to be a new man. No, <laughs> yeah, you couldn't no, be a soldier. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> of course so, not. La. After you came out from army, did you like go and try find job and then cannot find job? And then is that related to why you started doing social media? Stop right there! Just like how Luke has new drinks on his table, hope you add some new likes to our channel, also new subscribes and new notification bell ringers. <laughs> Back to the episode. Uh, during army, of course, army pay is not good. Yeah, well, I was, I, uh -huh. I, I ORD as a recruiter, so you know I was getting recruit pay my whole army. Oh, that was you, uh. My camp also, I the, remember that guy. The my legend. Room, my <laughs> so I was getting recruit pay, so I, uh, not proud to say this, say, say this, but like I find other jobs while I was in army, like just to earn something. Cause yeah, yeah. like, you know, I wasted my whole, like not whole, like most of my teenage Niche, to yeah. adult years. Yeah. Hey, sorry, if you oh, ORD as a recruit, please you don't need to go back already, right? Don't need. I'm Is it? Loop hole, bro. I have, no, I have no reservice. I have no reservice. Oh, that's why just now we asked him, he don't get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Tell me about reservice. I was like, huh? What's it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While army, I also work as a cleaner. So I went to people house to clean. Like right. also, like you know, like you know, finish renovation, go and clean. Right. Mm. Those type, or maybe if they want to clean the house, I like, just go and clean. Mm. Uh, you know, like one house fifty dollar, I'll take it. I can't imagine doing this <sighs> with eczema. Yeah, I sure pass yeah. away. Whoa. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, you know, like you know, when just renovated, <laughs> when just renovated, there's no fan. Exactly. Then all the dust. Whoa, I tell you, exactly. I was scratching and cleaning the house. <laughs> I think while cleaning, some of my flakes were just dropping <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> 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 Look, there is all <laughs> still dirty. 
<laughs> yeah, I was cleaning houses and I was working. Uh, I mean, I was doing the art uh, in army. Then after that, I OAD, I think I went, try to find jobs. I wanted to work at a, a PSA. I don't know what, what right. like, you know those the shipping. Pot, uh. Ah, port run. Mm. Uh. Like, I think like 1000 plus dollar, but like 12 hour shift on. Oh, do or maybe 2000. I'm not sure. Just drive and then get the port off. I wanted to work yeah. as that. Oh, then actually, driver. I went to interview uh. and they told me I was selected. Like, I can go and work. But before uh, they told me that I, I can go go and start work already, right? I was like doing TikTok. Oh. Right. I was doing TikTok. And then I, I realized, eh, actually can do something out of it. Uh. And yeah. I was also working part-time as vaccination center. So I wanted to see whether my this social media journey can, you know, lead on. So I decided to not go for that full-time job and continue my vaccination center while Doing mm, some time, yeah, yeah, some social media lah, and then I thought he very yeah. OG, eh. like mm. Simon and uh, I was very late to the TikTok trend, lah. Oh, I, mean, to, I was very late to the TikTok app. He Sorry, was quite a bit earlier people. than Simon, yeah, so it's like yeah. when got stupid thing happen, right? People will tag him to go and react. Right. <laughs> yeah. Wait, but how did you get started on TikTok? Like, what was your first? Okay, so piece of content dancing, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like from musically, if I'm not wrong, then he changed to TikTok. Lip sync, mm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah okay. I, I saw my old videos. Not of easy, yeah, that musically, thing. I changed. <laughs> also, that's what you do. <laughs> no, 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 no. I <laughs> so, uh, he just had a moment of trauma. <laughs> there, <this is> like. <laughs> For TikTok, I just like, because I've been post, like, that time I had like Instagram, uh, so like, but only very few followers, like, only my friends. Yeah. So, like, I, I, I would actually post video of myself doing stupid things. Uh. You right. know, like, like having fun like that. Then my friend asked me, hey, why don't you post TikTok? Then I was like, huh? TikTok cringe lah, TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> then one day I just very bored lah. I just post the video. Then, whoa, hey, 6,000 views. Mm. Then I'm like, whoa, hey, wow. What was the first TikTok? Famous. Whoa, I, 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 I
Uh, okay, so <laughs> this story quite funny. So before I start TikTok, she actually was uh she was model. on huh? Ampi <laughs> model. <laughs> <laughs> At least she's not sleeping, she's practicing. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, she was on Okay Cupid. You oh. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So she was actually talking to this guy named Luke, but not me. Huh? She was okay. talking to this guy she, named I think she got a fetish. No. <laughs> yeah. Then she wanted to find the Instagram, who's this Luke? Then right. she saw until my name. <laughs> then she pressed. Then she stopped me suddenly. On Instagram? Yeah. Right. Then she say like, hey, this guy quite cute and funny. Mm. So she followed me. Then I follow back. Then I slide, oh, slide into her DMs. Then, <laughs> I said, oh, then that Luke, help. Fuck you, man. I'm the better Luke. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> to the Luke that is watching this and talk to my girlfriend before. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> no, how dare you? I won. <laughs> I think there's no other Luke. She just might say, but she made the first move. <laughs> Why she might say, say she made first move? No lah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's totally possible. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> so Simon told us that mm. what happened was he posted about like his live story, right? Mm. And then you actually commented on that video. Mm. Yes. And that led to you guys meeting up. Yeah. What was that like first meeting like? So when we first met up, uh, we met at Causeway Point. And then when I saw him, I gave him a hug. Because I, you know, like, you know, we had somewhat like, we we know that we like go through. History, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Sh- yeah. So I gave him a hug and then we chit chat. So we went to, I remember a coffee bin. So we sit down. He bought me coffee though. Very nice guy. <laughs> he bought me coffee. I was like, hey, wow, this guy damn nice. Then after that, uh, he insists on being like, okay. Oh. So we shared a coffee together. We talked. I was like, hey, bro, what are you doing now actually? He said, wow, bro, riding do the food delivery riding on a hot sun dot, dot, dot. then I say oh I just doing a vaccination center mm. then after that I say social media eh? you say oh, here and there do all then we just sharing about this stuff lah. you see I, I came up with the idea I think I say maybe one day we can do like something together then he's like mm, maybe you can maybe you can I remember this kid <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 like a bit or some shit <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so after that we a uh, few months pass we start to like gain more attention then we start to come together and create Bluebird yeah. so with the success mm. of Bluebird right which I remember and I told Simon the same mm. thing when I first saw maybe mm. your first or second episode I remember mm. sending it to my team and mm. saying this one's gonna blow up and so what happened to it so it blew up and it really blew up <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess we all got busy with like uh, doing actually what we really wanted to do lah. so you know Simon has his ambitions in doing skit mm. and he does really really well in it lah. and he got a passion for it yeah. so like he don't want to have too much on his mind lah, you know right. so after that he he said he want to pursue it I said bro you should go and pursue it Right. yeah then I also want to go and pursue my own new thing lah. Yeah. so then we will get to later lah. Yeah, we'll get to later, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> then we decided to, it's best that we leave Bluebird now. Okay, mm. so what's the real answer? There's a real answer? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so the, the decision to end Bluebird was was mm. something that you and Simon like yeah. had a chat with and you all came mm. together. Mm. And so what's next? What's next for you? What's next for me? So I think you guys can see, la, actually, I'm signed with Titan. Yeah, I see, yeah, I see. Yeah. So I'm gonna also start a new channel. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. gonna be a talk show. La. How did you and Jen how get into this conversation of being a Titan talent? When, when he first followed me, then I'm like, hey, what is this, you know, guy followed me. Then I follow me, then we chit chat. Then we start yeah. to meet more. He's mentoring me. I guess like in some aspects to rebrand, to not be so vulgar also, la, I guess, yeah. <laughs> He making you family friendly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, which is I guess it's important in it's this industry in, to certain important extent. Important, not mm. hard to earn money also, ma. Mm. <laughs> it's true, right? It is. Yeah, like he really gave a lot of solid advice. I went. I remember when I was kind of down at one moment. Uh, I reached out to him, and he never like you know, mm. like you know, say, hey, I'm too busy or what. He like yeah. immediately, hey, bro, you. I tell you what, you come to my house, we chit chat. Yeah, you know. But even though I don't know him long, I feel he's a very steady guy. Uh. And come on, bro, he give me a business class. I never fly business in my life. And I realized like what business is like, what, 1,000 plus dollars for one flight? Flight? Well, I was like, what? That was very near idea. At least. A- at yeah. least he's, a th- I don't know. I never fly business. He do not search that filter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like he chose me go Thailand and I was like, actually it's been like five years since I fly to anywhere. Because yeah. you know, I was a addict, ma. I didn't really get to go places. Right. So he fly me out together with him. Then I was like, Oh, this is cool. Ah. 
Were you, you know? expecting that he flew you in business? I wasn't. Yeah, you just thought you were gonna. You just show at the airport. Not, hey, way, not yeah. only the hotel yeah. was a suite. Uh. Uh-huh. Whoa! But one person like just in the hotel. I was like, wow, I feel like kings, yeah. <laughs> and I look in the mirror with the robe, right? Like, wow, see la, you know, like looking handsome. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he he, he definitely tr- treat me well. La. He right. treat me well. La. But I find you and Simon's like friendship so interesting. I'm, I'm mm, not sure mm, how mm. close you guys are now, but close, it's almost like close. you're met, and after that, there's like a big spike, and then you know, it's like a mm. a brother that you never had almost, right? And then mm. after that, you're creating things together, and mm. now it's like going your own way. Mm. So it's, mm. it feels to me like a. Shoo. But like so, mm. in life, I think like we all have we we will all meet people like that, and then it's yeah. so interesting. And I got the feeling that even though like Simon's older than you, you mm. are his father figure in life. <laughs> what? <laughs> why, why would you feel that way? Also, the, the first comment he was really from Simon. Up, he really looks up to you. Like he, he, I, I don't know how much of it. Me, yeah, I don't know how much of it made it to the, because we had to trim for length and all that stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But I remember that as he was talking about your friendship, right? Mm-hmm. And he was inspired by your video to begin with. And mm-hmm. when he posted, you reached out, mm-hmm. you know, and mm-hmm. he, f- he credits his change in trajectory of life to you. Oh, which was, oh. yeah, why it got. Hey, I Simon, mean, if wrong, you <laughs> yeah, let me know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> then repeat the comment. But I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I got, got a shout out to him too. Like, he also like showed me ways also in doing content. Yeah, you know, like we give each other tips, you know, stood by each other. Yeah. But I guess, you know, uh, we, we we will have to pursue our own passion. Uh. But of course, we are busy, you know, sometimes you won't get to meet that often, do content that often. So people might think, hey, what, do you all quarrel? You all? No, I never, never quarrel. We're still yeah. very close. You know, in, in my in my chat, you still have a hardship there. Huh? Mm. Is he your <laughs> best friend? I would say, he's a, yeah, yeah, best friend. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much for watching today's episode. And of course, thank you very much, Luke, for joining us and being so open with us. And congratulations. Thumbs thank, up. thank you guys for having me. Really Please appreciate Please support it. his new show when it starts. Like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye. What was your first tattoo and is there a meaning to it? Oh my god. Oh, my first tattoo. Man, oh man. <laughs> no, no, it's not here. <laughs> oh, my first tattoo is near your crotch. It's at my hip. Mm. Yeah, it's <laughs> near your crotch. Near my crotch. It's a cross with my name. And it's in a red color with a heart shape. <laughs> <laughs> I was 14 years old. I was 14 years old. Why are you guys judging okay, me? Okay, well, that's them boss though. That's them boss. No, nah, but, but I wanted to but hide yeah. from my mother. <laughs> 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 you want to hide from your friends but you have to take out your pants. No, no, I remember. No, no, you, you, you. I remember I wanted to flex my tattoo when I was at Shelly. So I would take out my shirt. Then you went put, put, put the pants down a little bit just yeah, to show yeah, yeah. The, the tip uh... of the cross. <laughs> 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 the string. He's <laughs> like, hey, what, bro, you got a tattoo? I say, bro, I have one. You know? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>